of the sun. In any city, in any country, go to any hotel or condominium building you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls himself the holder of the sun. The front desk's phone should immediately ring, prompting the worker to ask you to wait a moment. While the worker answers the phone, go to the nearest beverage vending machine you can find and, without inserting any money, press the button for the first drink listed. No matter what drink is displayed, the can that comes out will be of plain, unmarked metal and will be hot to the touch. Open the can and drink as much of the searing liquid as you can before the worker hangs up the phone. If you drink enough in time, then you will immediately lose consciousness. When you awaken, you will find yourself on a couch in a magnificent room. The ceiling is far, far above your head, and the massive windows not only wash the entire place in golden sunlight, but also allow a view of the city in which you started, many dozens of miles below you. Seated on a chair not far from you will be a man who exudes healthy youthfulness. He will just have hung up his phone and will be eyeing you with a mixture of confusion and amusement, for you have rather suddenly appeared on his couch. Sit upright and calmly tell the man your name and age, then proceed to tell him as much about yourself as you can think, without making any direct mention of objects or, more importantly, the other holders. He particularly does not want to hear about the other holders. If, at any time during your speaking, the man lifts his phone to his ear, then your journey has come to an end. If, however, the young man politely gestures for you to stop, then pause for a moment and wait for him to ask you why you have come to his room. When he again gestures for your response, ask, Who kept them in place when they were together? The young man will proceed to weep softly at the question. There is no point in trying to console him. Instead, stand up and walk to the only door in the room. When you are within arm's length of the door, the man will call your name. Turn to face him, and you will see that he is floating several feet above the floor and emitting a bright light that drowns out even the sunlight. Do not turn away from this light, and do not blink, even as you feel your eyes dry out and burn away. When your vision has been completely ruined, you will once again fade out of consciousness. Upon awakening, you will find yourself in a hospital or medical clinic, your vision completely undamaged. The medical staff will be confused as to your presence, but ignore them and leave. Upon leaving, search your pockets to find something you did not have before. The cufflinks are object 146 or 538. They yearn to end their separation, but they must never come together.